Welcome to another edition of Exploring Bethlehem. Lehigh University is a well-known research institution located here in Bethlehem. And since 1865, Lehigh graduates have gone forth armed with their education and have made a name for themselves in various fields of endeavor. For example, Lehigh grads are responsible for inventing the escalator and for building the locks of the Panama Canal and helping to build the Golden Gate Bridge, among others. But did you know that one graduate in particular was an early automobile visionary, along with the likes of Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, and others at the turn of the 20th century? In fact, James Ward Packard, class of 1884, along with his brother William, was way ahead of his time. Packard was an American luxury automobile built by the Packard Motor Car Company. The first Packard automobiles were produced in 1899, and the last Detroit built Packard in 1956, when they built the Packard Predictor, their last concept car. The company was considered the preeminent luxury car before World War II, and built aircraft engines for the Allied war effort. Owning a Packard was prestigious, and surviving examples are found in museums, car shows and automobile collections. In the beginning, all Packards had a single-cylinder engine until 1903. The first Packard four-cylinder engine was introduced as the Model K in 1903, and the first six-cylinder engine was introduced as the Series 1-48-6 in 1912. Packard produced its twin six-model series of 12-cylinder cars from 1915 to 1923. The Packard 8 was introduced in 1930 and the V8 appeared in 1955, one year after Buick and Chrysler and a few decades after Cadillac and Lincoln. All Packard engines were flathead engines until the last few years of operations. Packard vehicles featured innovations, including the modern steering wheel, air conditioning in a passenger car, and one of the first production 12-cylinder engines, adapted from developing the Liberty L12 used during World War I. Packard bought Studebaker in 1953 and formed the Studebaker Packard Corporation of South Bend, Indiana. The 1957 and 1958 Packards were actually badge-engineered Studebakers, built in South Bend. Packard had one advantage that some other luxury automakers did not, a single production line. By maintaining a single line and interchangeability between models, Packard was able to maintain low costs. Packard did not change models as often as other manufacturers. Rather than introducing new models annually, Packard began using its own series formula for differentiating its model changeovers in 1923 borrowing a strategy from GM called planned obsolescence. The new model series did not debut on a strictly annual basis, with some series lasting nearly two years and others lasting as brief as seven months. In the long run Packard averaged approximately one new series per year, by 1930, Packard automobiles were considered part of its 7th series. By 1942, Packard was in its 20th series. The 13th series was omitted due to the Western superstition about the number 13. Packard also made large aeronautical and marine engines. Chief Engineer Jesse Vincent developed a V-12 airplane engine called the Liberty Engine that was used widely in Entente Air Corps during World War I. After the war the Liberty was adapted for marine use, becoming a multiple world record setter under inventor and boating pioneer Gar Wood from the late 1910s through the 1930s. In the meantime Packard built one of the world's first diesel aviation engines, the 225 horsepower DR980 radial. It powered the Stinson SM8D, among others. It also powered a Volanta CH300 on a record endurance flight of over 84 hours, a mark that stood for more than 50 years.